Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Grixis land destruction. This deck's a ton of fun. We played this two weeks ago or so and did surprisingly well with it. We went three and two and definitely really happy with that because this deck is quite janky. Really, all we're trying to do here is destroy all of our opponent's lands. Whether we win the game or not is to be seen, but that's what we're trying to do. And uh, yeah, that's that's the goal of the deck. Lifer, thank you so much for resubbing there for the fourth month in a row. You're amazing. 32 here. So what we have with this deck is like our most important card is Haphazard Bombardment. It's the card that uh, allows us when it enters, you choose non f you choose four non enchantment permanents, and at then at your end step, if you basically you put a counter on on those four, and then at your end step, if two or more of those permanents have an aim counter, then you destroy one of the one like just one of them at random. So you basically start with four different ones, and then you destroy one of the four at random, and then there's three, and then the next turn you destroy one of them at random, and then there's two. And then whenever there's two, you destroy one of them at random, and then there's only one left, and then you don't destroy that one. But you can just target four lands, so you just kind of start destroying the opponent's lands with Haphazard Bombardment here. Thanks, Jelly. You are amazing. Thanks for that resub with Twitch Prime as well. Got your red tie. Heck yeah. We also have Star of Extinction, which destroys a land and deals a lot of damage to creatures and planeswalkers. So those are like our, our main things that we're doing here. We have Bedeck Bedazzle, as where Bedeck can be a removal spell, but then Bedazzle can destroy a land as well. And so that's what we're, we're pretty much doing. We have we also have Memorial to War, which sacrifices to destroy a land, and then we have our Crucible Worlds that can help replay Memorial to Wars, and so we can keep on doing that over and over. And, you know, we basically just kind of pound the opponent into submission where they can't play spells anymore. And then at that point, we uh, play a Mirari Conjecture and have the third chapter... Go off where we copy an instant or sorcery spell, and we copy Fight with Fire and deal 20 damage to the opponent with this one Fight with Fire. And so that's how we win the game, is this Fight with Fire. If the Fight with Fire gets discarded, we just use the Mirari Conjecture to get it back, because, uh, you know, the second chapter is Return Target Sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand, so we can just do that. And that's kind of what our deck does. It's very janky, but it works sometimes, and those times are glorious. So... Let's go ahead and give it a run and see how Grixis Land Destruction does. What happens if the opponent gains a life? We just get our <clears throat> we just get the fight with fire back with a new Mirari conjecture. Yep, that's our Wincon. Honestly, with this deck, you were on arena, you just don't really need the Wincon. Most everybody, when you destroy all their lands, they just concede. And so it's a it's all good. Let's see. We have a lot of lands in this deck because our curve is so high. I don't remember exactly how many. How many? 26? Okay. That's very janky, but works sometimes. <laughs> yep, that's the perfect jank. Hey, Kachi. I am doing very good. Hope you're having a good day. Mono blue. Alright. We need lands. Not land, not land. I mean, Discovery looks for lands again for next turn. But Discovery could get countered. Probably need to keep Discovery, honestly. So Mono Blue obviously is very good against our deck with all this sorcery speed. All the sorcery speed stuff that we have that costs tons of mana. Yeah, 
like spell pierce trades for four, five, six mana all the time. All right, hopefully they only have dive down now. And we draw land and we get to ritual upset. Come on, land. We drew the land. Their spell pierce is gone. No more spell pierce. They had to dive down. <laughs> Woo! We're doing it. Um, I think I just pass turn. I don't think I need a Mirari Conjecture here. Problem is they another problem is they don't play They don't play non-basics. So like Bedazzle and Field of Ruin are not destroying lands. Alright, we need to draw land for this Star of Extinction. Not a land, but we can dispersal the Tempest Gin at least. And give us a turn. Yeah, that's the best thing we can do. The other thing I could do is like discovery and try to find a ritual of sit and kill both creatures. It's very greedy. Yeah, this is the... Yeah, Rank and Tours. Yeah, there you go. Consoler of the Lonely. I don't I don't know what MG, MTG bot is saying. No, it's... It's the Rank and Tours. If we just played Conjecture earlier... Would have been better for us. But there we go, Star of Extinction! Boom. Twenty damage. One land down. Need to draw a haphazard bombardment now. We'll save Discovery Dispersal. Where do all of your decks come from? I I make... Like, besides, like, donation decks and everything, I make the decks that I play. Like, this is a deck I am put together. Tempest Gin. That thing's big. I think they have Spell Pierce. Like, I wanted Star of Extinction. But that plan is really bad against exactly Spell Pierce. Nah, they didn't just draw Spell Pierce, right? Aha! I wish I could bedazzle. They, you know, they don't have non-basic lands. All right, so we're going to double discovery. Yeah, I'll take both of those. Um. Do, 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 do. Boom. Three, 
Crucible. Let's play this Memorial to War. Stack this Memorial to War. Kill that thing. Haha, -ha, there we go. Put it scoops it up. Our Memorial to Wars are gonna destroy all their lands. See, y'all are saying, what's a win con? Don't need win cons. Win cons overrated. The win, pon the win cons are the opponents just picking up their cards and going home. Alright, but we are playing mono blue, though. Let's be real. We're, we're probably not winning this. <laughs> we got lucky for that one. We're probably not winning this. Alright, I think we're bringing in all 15. Cutting... A lot of cards. So Immortal Suns can go. Conjecture can go. Conjecture is going. Blink of an Eye can go. Bedeka plus three minus three is not that good of a removal spell. I think we take out Star of Extinction. Usually too expensive. Crucible is really good with the Moral to War for the, like the really late game, but do we really need that? It's just not going to usually happen what happened that last game. So what about Bedeck? Hey, RJ. Thanks for that resub there with Twitch Prime. Nah, search is good. I like search more than discovery. Yeah, our win con is Niv now. Take out one Bedeck, two discovery, and... But fight with fire and a discovery. Ah, I gotta go. I think Dovin's Veto will see Modern and Legacy play. Likely. Not like a, a, a ton a ton. But yeah, it'll probably see sideboard play in those formats. We've seen like Counterflux be a, a card. A Counterflux, of course, is a little better, but costs three. Man, this hand is good if we just draw lands. We have 26 lands in the deck. Let me keep this. We can find some lands. All we really need is one land, and then Thought Erasure helps us find more lands. Tilt. We can beat those things if we just draw draw some lands. As long as they don't play Tempest Gen. Because, you know, they have a dead card with Entrancing Melody. Oh my gosh. Mm. Please don't play Tempest Gen. Don't do it. We're going to get beat down here. I mean, we are we already are getting beaten down. Twenty six land deck. There's twenty five more in here. I couldn't find one. We've drawn f five cards, not a single land. They're all pretty c close to coin flips. A lot of coin flips to lose in a row. 
Hey, there's a land. Too late. <laughs> that is true. That was pretty ironic. Dying with no lands in a land destruction deck. All right, cutting a haphazard bombardment to bring in another discovery. So we got two other donation decks to play after this. We got Abzan Knights and Jeskai Control. Uh, we also have one donation deck for tomorrow and one for Saturday. But besides that, the rest of the week is available. If you'd like a donation deck, your donation decks are just $20. And we're $20 away from getting a, another gem pack to get a lot more cosmetics. So the donate link's here. Lots of information down below in the donate panel. Okay, we have lands. We got Search for Escanta. Let's go ahead and keep this one. I don't think I need to fire off the Duress immediately. I'm going to wait on that. Hmm. Now that they have one drop, let's go with this Thought Erasure. Let's see what we got. Okay, so they do have Obsession. And a whole lot of counter spells. So, regretting not firing off the duress on turn one for that obsession. Now. You have 100,000 gold saved up for War of the Spark? Dang. Uh-oh. Well. We were doing good until that. Let's see if we see a Cry of the Carnarium or Ritual of Soot. I mean, Cry of the Carnarium just gets countered by the dive down. So really need Ritual of Soot here. Ritual of Soot. Hmm. Lava Coil's good. I'll take that. Then they dive down, and then we, we respond by copying the lava coil and having. Oh, that's not a copy of a lava coil. That's like a crappy lava coil. That's not a copy of this one. That's copying some other lava coil. Vanivar with Thibble Thip, Aristocrats, and Storm Infinite Combo. There you go. You haven't gotten the rest of the previews yet, though, Boot. Could be something even spicier out there that hasn't hasn't been uh, hasn't shown up yet. You never know. We're at five in graveyard. Thibblethip is going to be is a really important key of turning on these for like the legends decks for turning on like the legendary sorceries and everything. So even though like we need more lands for Haphazard Bombardment, Haphazard Bombardment's not like a you know a wonderful card or anything here in this matchup, and it just gets countered. I think I I want the Ascanta to flip, so I'm putting I was putting the land in the graveyard because I want Ascanta to flip. Kind of same with the gate. Let's just let's just get this thing to flip. Let's start activating. Could cast this bombardment. No, let's let's activate. Uh, 
All right, Bedeck. All right, looks like haphazard and bombardment gonna resolve. All right, we'll target Storm Tamer, Trickster, Terramander, and a land. All right, which one's dying? Do 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 do. do. Ooh, Trickster down. No more Trickster. Okay, removal spell. Not a removal spell. Alright, this, this, and this. Activate. Ugh. Those are not removal spells. That's unfortunate. Did not find a removal spell. Dang. Just had the removal spell for the 5-5. Five five. So close. Whoops. Wrong side. As Kanta, you let us down. Alright, well, admittedly going in, we knew that Mono Blue was going to be really tough. We had all of our ritual of sets, did not find any that last game. Ugh. Can I give that wilderness reclamation back? I don't want that thing. Alright, so own one. <laughs> Trillic says there's four mono blue players in my LGS. A guy was tired of it and built a Reach tribal deck and took first place last Friday. Never seen anybody play Wall of Vines before. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> Ooh, gates. Okay. Bad news is we have our Ritual of Soots, but good news is maybe we'll draw our land destruction stuff. Gates. Ooh, that's a good draw. Gates is not like their lands being destroyed. Oh, no, this is just like a weird gruel aggro deck. So, Spellbreaker is usually what I'd want to take here. But we do have Ritual of Set to deal with Spellbreaker. So, honestly, maybe just getting rid of the de Demanding Dragon. Just getting that out of here. Also, Risk Factors are certainly really annoying. Could just take a Risk Factor. But this thing, this thing can just deal so much damage. I'm going to take that Demanding Dragon. Uh, yeah, we'll have Escanta. I mean, I guess this Spellbreaker is going to deal 6 damage to me. Yeah, that, that's what I thought. I thought they would play Rhythm of the Wild first. TBH. So the Spellbreaker deals 4. We set it away. Alright, not ditching any more lands. We got rid of that land. I'm, I will not get rid of any more lands now. Again, like we talked about before, like just getting to the spot of like flipping as Kanta is usually pretty good. Okay. That's actually pretty good. Now we can now we can ditch lands with Ascanta, but still play them.
and keeping the Crucible World certainly means I'm going to have six mana for next turn. We're down to eight. Graveyard. Do, 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 do. Ah, I want to destroy the Redlands. So looking for another land for Star of Extinction this next turn. Can't cast it though. Man, we can certainly die here. Oh well. Hey, Og, thanks for subbing there with Twitch Prime. Not playing scared. Battle countdown down to 29. Almost there. Please don't have a haste creature that kills me here. Please don't have a haste creature that kills me here. I like our chances of winning if we don't die here. We get two more looks at another land. Ooh, nice. There we go. That's not going to kill us. Decline. You can draw some cards. Because two more looks at a land for Star of Extinction. And how many cards are in our graveyard? Okay, not enough. Man, I want to keep that card. I could probably just keep this. Nah. Okay, let's see. So stopping on end step. Let's have the... Yeah, let's have the two bombardments trigger. Let's see what happens here. Okay, Druid of the Cowl does go. If Druid of Kyle didn't go, you know, I was going to contempt it. If the bombardments destroy two lands. No! Spellbreaker kills us. Ugh. One more turn. Both of those lands are going to be destroyed next turn. Because there's two of them, so they both trigger. So like those, both those lands are gone. Guess I should have held up contempt. I was just hoping they didn't have red source plus spellbreaker. That killed me. I was greedy. Yeah, I could have just held up brass's contempt and yeah. Well, dang. Oh, yeah, it was Hexproof on their turn anyway. That's a good call. Yeah, so Contempt didn't even do anything. Yeah, we can't Contempt Spellbreaker, so yeah. Okay, so we're going to bring in some more removal with Lava Coil. Man, we are so close. So close. Because one more turn, Bombardment would have certainly got us there. 
Yes, I understand that contempting the druid would have gained us two life. I understand. <laughs> yeah, the Fibbletip card is perfect for all my legendary decks, for sure. That's a good one. I'm going to take out one Immortal Sun. And... One has Kanta? No. A Bedeck? I'll take out a Bedeck. Put those in for just to bring in the Lava Coils. I think Lava Coil could be pretty important. Yeah, the only, basically the only card that killed me was exactly... They had to have a, exactly red source, untapped red source, plus Spellbreaker. That's what killed me. They already had one Spellbreaker, and we saw a lot of, like, Timber Gorges and Guild Gates and stuff like that, too. It was just not very... Not very likely, but not Contempting the Druid certainly made Bombardment a lot better. Contempting the Druid made the Bombardment worse. I mean, they, they would have been able to keep one of those lands... We got to destroy an extra land by not not using contempt there. But oh well. I'll try this out. It's a slow hand, but we're on the play. Hopefully the opponent has a slow hand on the on the draw there. Yep, hindsight 2020. Huh. It's a big pig right there. It's a big old pig. I guess it's a lot of pigs. Alright, we need to draw a couple more lands. That'll do. Ooh, that's a really good draw. Another bombardment. Love it. Bzz, 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 bzz. I think I was triple green. So honestly, I get I get a little be better value out of the bombardment by actually waiting, waiting for our opponent to play like another land that doesn't have a you know get another land that doesn't have a counter on it. So I think I can wait. You know we don't really have a lot else going on over here, so let's just be patient. Because the more lands we can get counters on, the better for us. We have we do have enchantment removal. We have dispersals. So do I wait one more turn? Yeah. Let's see if they play one more land. Hey, what's up, Phoenix? Resummon for fifth month in a row. Love it. Going down to 28. Alright, perfect. Now they have four lands for the bombardment to target. <laughs> I 
and they're gone. Hmm. Anything else I want to change? That's probably fine. No, I don't think Mind Rot has much standard viability. I think there's better options of like similar cards. <laughs> Could have Explosion. Explosion's usually for decks with like spells against me. You know, like copying a risk factor, for example, is not going to do us a whole lot. Like for the expansion part, like that's that's usually what we bring it in for is like when we whenever we want expansion. All right, we got Rakdos control here. The win condition: fight with fire. Gonna get some more lands. I'll just take another discovery. Really, our win conditions are opponents picking their cards up. That's just what always happens. So I could put the Steam Vents in the graveyard and get it back with Crucible Worlds. Something we could do. Let's do that. You know, it's like, we, we want the land for sure, but, especially, you know, the blue source, but we have Crucible World, so. These risk factors really, really hurt. And yeah, the haste creatures with rhythm is certainly a problem. Vivian. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. Vivian is Come so good. Me. That kills haphazard bombardment. Vivian is such a good card against us. Hmm. This is quite bad for us. What are we going to do? That thing is really big. This is looking really, really bad for us. Yeah, I mean, I guess I, I could Dispersal Vivian now... But then, how am I dealing with this Ravager Worm? If I wait for them to play the Worm next turn and then bounce the Worm, how am I dealing with Vivian? Yeah, I could Bedeck plus Coil the Worm. No one knows the wilds like I do. Like, we need Star of Extinction. Like, that's the card we need, is we need Star of Extinction. We have four of them for a reason.
Target Vivian and the green sources. Hit Vivian. Dang it. Definitely hoping to hit Vivian, because now Vivian can just kill the bombardment. Draw and fire. But slow them down. Maybe they don't have another. Maybe they don't have another land. There we go. Oh, that thing can have haste and cast Phoenix also. That's annoying. All right, now we now we draw a Star of Extinction. Here we go, Star of Extinction. Star of Extinction. Ow. Nope. So we coil, bedeck, and thought erasure. Stupid rhythm of the wild haste thing. Annoying. I mean, I probably have to kill this Ravager Worm. I have to get rid of the Ravager Worm, right? Ravager Worm can just destroy my Memorial to War. I guess I get it back with Crucible, but... Alright. Star of Extinction, where are you at? I've seen things that would break someone like you. Now, because Ravager Worm just kills my Memorial to War, and I can't kill the Ravager Worm, and I die. Now we still have the seven mana. We have the ability to draw Star of Extinction, kill the Carnage Tyrant, kill the Vivian. Like, we're still in it if we draw Star of Extinction. The whole Hexproof thing doesn't matter. We did it! We did it! Okay, so now... Yeah, I guess I just need to destroy one of the green sources. And I guess it's Stomping Ground. I well, they need survive. three green sources for Palaka Worm. Of course, Risk Factor is obviously you know, good against us now, but... Oh well. And you know, any any creature with Rhythm of the Wild kills us. We're not we're not doing great, but we're still alive. Really wish we could take this four. Really wish that we didn't have to let them draw all these cards. Man, Rhythm of the Wild hurt us really bad both of those games. Just the the haste was just such a such a big problem for us. Yeah, so even though we lost both matches and went 0-2. We had a lot of epic games. Agree, Yud. Yeah, we had a lot of epic games. We won, you know, won, we we went to game three both times, had a lot of epic games. Yeah, we just have a bunch of sorcery speed removal. And so I think game one, not taking Rhythm of the Wild really hurt us. But the dragon would have, the dragon would have killed us game one, though, most likely. So... Yeah, Fibblethip is is going to be a, a good card. Especially for the decks that I like to play. For the legendary decks. Um, 
yeah, so we went 0-2 with Grixis Land Destruction, but it was a lot of fun. And like I said, last time we went like 3-2 with the deck. So if you're if you are watching this video later on YouTube and you hadn't seen the 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 deck the last time that we played it, I recommend checking that out. It's from about two weeks ago. Uh, you know, just go to go to my video section and and scroll down and you can find it for some more games there. Um, but we we definitely had epic games here and it's a fun deck to play. We'll play it again in another time. Uh, for tonight though, we got a couple more do donation decks that I'm going to get to though. And even though we went 0-2, it was, you know, we got pretty close to getting a couple wins. And, yep, that's about it. So, if, uh, if, if you are watching this on YouTube, of course, thanks for watching. And I hope you hit the subscribe button, and I will see you for the next video.